so finally it's a new day and a new try uh, if you know from my previous video I was trying to install Mac OS on my VMware which happens to be a 15.5 and in that video we learned that it was not we were unable to so I found this video uh, it's a Mitch Tech Inside channel uh, he has this video here if you want you can see his tutorial I am just uh, making my own to document uh, what issues I run into so I am using all of his links <coughs> uh, do remember this is the password very important you don't have to search for it later on uh, so I already have 15.5 installed I did the unlocker thing as well I need this ISO I have already downloaded it and it's right here so I'm gonna just go and do the VMware thing and hopefully this time I will succeed I hope so this is the old one that didn't work there's another one and yet another one this is the third one so let's go typical install I will install later on Apple Mac OS I have here I'm gonna go with 16 16 and the location is supposed to be Frank and again I'm gonna give it 140 uh, store as a single file customize hardware mm, let's do actually see do we have to do anything no two GB is not enough I will give it 8 GB Processors look good. ESP controller is three. So actually, I had a change of heart. I went back installer disk image file. I just followed his video. Um, and uh, next, we don't have to do anything. 140 is good. Finish. Now I just want to go quickly check one thing. That is that I want to. right there we need to go at this location not responding that's bad so basically let's go here and file gotta check uh, SMC present is true so um, while reading some <coughs> forms last night uh, some wanted it to be false some wanted it to be true so this is the setting that we can you know change from true to false and see if boots are not so now now I know it's true I'm gonna boot the machine and see if it works or not if not then we'll go and change it to false <clears throat> okay so this looks promising the CPU has been disabled by the guest operating system power off or reset the virtual machine so it's not booting I believe <clears throat> okay, error fixes. Okay, I'm gonna. I am receiving a call. I'm gonna uh, pause the video here. So I'm gonna try that uh, false and see if that works. If not, then we'll try that Windows uh, one. I'm just uh, playing with it and see which one works. Save. And 
let's go back to Premiere. Travel our virtual machine. Okay, exact same thing. It boots, but uh, does not boot. Uh, let's set it down. Power off. Yeah, power off. Okay, and edit. And let's go with the. Uh, Ah, this one. Let's try this now. <coughs> Power for for reset the virtual machine. I'm gonna power shut down. And let's uh, try the uh, Windows theme. Before I restart my host machine, I want to try everything because I know that uh, I will lose uh, my video uh, capture up to this point. I want to save it uh, because it's part of trial and error. What uh, what worked, what did not work, how we got it to work, all that. So let's go with uh, Microsoft Windows this time. And power. Boot failed. Will sleep for 10 seconds before exiting. Type 2. Okay, it looks like that at this point I want to uh, restart this machine. That's, uh, let's do that. Shut down. And let's restart the host machine. <coughs> 